All right, everybody, I'm back. Yo, these are reading glasses I got on. I can't see. But the funny thing is, like, when I'm reading, I'll put the reading glasses on, right? And then I go to answer the phone or something to change it. I know y'all can't see. I, oh, I forgot it. I forgot to take these reading glasses off. <laughs> they reading glasses. That's funny. Y'all yeah, was thinking about something. I was saying like, um, you ever notice? Like I was saying, you know, a white child comes in the world with seventy-five percent of what he needs to become successful, strictly by the color of his skin alone. Strictly by the color of his skin I don't care if he's poor white or anything Poor white and poor black is To me is different Eminem Eminem grew up in the hood Poor white But look at him now He's born with 75% of what he needs To become successful And the reason I say that is because Everything they need to become successful Is in their skin color It's in their school It's in their libraries It's in their, it's in their, their, their uh, Administration the churches, everything they need is 75%, 75% of what they need to become successful. A black child coming over with a zero. And the reason I was saying that is because you ever watch the uh the NFL and the NBA drafts? And like when a black person gets drafted and a white person gets drafted. I don't mean to make this a black and white subject, but you know, when the country was being founded, it was black and white and a few Hispanics. Latinos they called them back then It was a few Latinos It was black and white And Latinos A few Latinos They had about 100,000 But You know And it was black people That was used to build the country for free That's why I'm talking about black and white Now Back to the NFL NBA draft When a black person get drafted His, his family go crazy White family get drafted It's like yeah We knew he was going to make it But you know, their life doesn't change that much. Especially if, they, if they're born like in middle class or upper middle class or they have a little wealth. You know, my son made it to, they be like, white family, like, yeah, my son made it to the NFL. Black family, everybody be cheering. <laughs> and then, and then like, when a black, when a black person make it, makes it, he got to move out of his neighborhood, man. White person can stay in his neighborhood. You know, he lives in a nice community. Probably, can't, probably grew up in a house on a farm or some shit. Black family, he got to move out the hood. He got to move. Because the people going to beg you to death. And that's bad because that's what would make a black neighborhood better if wealthy black people stay. But they can't stay. But it would make the neighborhood better if they stayed. You rarely, rarely, rarely see Asians try to move out of Asian neighborhoods. You rarely see Jews move out of Jewish neighborhoods. They stay. They stay in their neighborhoods and they make their neighborhoods better. Yep. All right, Joe, that's what I was saying, but that's what I was thinking about. You know, when NFL and NBA draft and all that. All right, gotta go.